What's up, what's up, what's up, YouTube crew? This is Dayla with Yo. All right, happy, what is this? Today is, I'm like discombobulated. So today is Tuesday, so happy Tuesday, the ending of the evening. It's about 10, 15 um, p.m. And I just finished watching the Sacramento Kings against the Golden State Warriors live at um, the Golden Center. I didn't watch it physically live, but I watched the game um, and my Warriors lost, guys, but that's okay. Look, I'm still repping my my Warriors, uh, you know. Yes, still repping my Warriors, guys. I'm super proud of them. You know, they had a lot of issues going on the earlier um, earlier on in the game and also early on in the season, and they managed to make it to the 10th seed, um, the play-in game, and... They did lose. So the score was, the final score was 118, I believe 94. And um, overall, like I said, it was an excellent game. We just wasn't ready this time. This, you know, the, the, the Kings wanted it more. And so they showed up and showed out the whole game, especially Keegan Murray. He was just balling out of control. Um, Ellis kept picking... Um, my guy, you know, Curry, I was I was getting kind of frustrated about that. And um, we had some good plays. And, um, you know, poor Clay, you know, he struggled this game. You know, he was like, oh, from, his, I don't know if it was 10 or um, oh, from 11. And I know it's just got to be crushing for him, especially, you know, he's, he's getting ready to either sign a new contract with the Warriors or with someone else. We don't know. Um, man, I would love to see Clay stay with the Warriors. I really enjoy watching him as a player, but if he does end up going elsewhere, I still am going to love and support him because he's an excellent player and he's already proven himself. He has four rings, you know, I always tell people, look, you can talk as much smack as you want about the Warriors, but they have four rings for a reason because they are a championship team. And I'm just super, super proud of all of their efforts um, just over the season. And I look forward to seeing what they do next year um, as they begin to, you know, watch some of the uh, playoffs games. And we'll see. We'll see if the Kings beat out the um, New Orleans Pelicans. To, um, I think it's tomorrow or I think it's tomorrow um, they're going to fly to New Orleans and see if they could beat them. They they haven't won any as of yet this year. I think they played five games and they lost all five. So we'll see. We'll see. You know, I'll be I'll be rooting for, you know, Sacramento Kings because I am from California and I, you know, I'm going to root for my home team. And um, my, my family's from Baton Rouge, but um, Louisiana. So I. Um, I do enjoy some of the Pelican players and stuff like that too as well. But I just, I want to see a good game. I just want to see that um, these people play defense, offense, you know, rebounds. I just want to see a, a total good game. You know, refs, you guys stay in your stay in your lane. Allow for these players to play the game. You know, I was kind of getting frustrated by some of the things that these, these refs um, are doing and they're not getting caught you see it in replay and see that like the you know first couple of fouls weren't fouls so it's kind of frustrating but overall so i'm just saying that to say this it was an excellent game um congratulations to the sacramento kings i think it's been like 17 years since they actually made it into the playoffs so um you know kudos to you all and I hope that you guys win. All right. I'll talk with you guys later. Love you. Bye.